All right, we are heading into the Waste Management Phoenix Open. This is a legitimate uh, course. I'm 90% sure. I'm pretty sure I've heard of Waste Management before. Uh, the Waste Management Open, anyways. At Scottsdale. So let's hop into it. We've got our sponsor. We are destroying our competition, despite it being on. It's still on very hard difficulty. The AI, we come back and won the last round, and it was very satisfying and very, very intense, too. So. Yeah, we, we've got a, quite the lead under our belts. And we still look like a jackass. Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Waste Management Phoenix Open is about to kick off. I'm Luke Elvey, proud to be alongside 2002 PGA winner Rich Beam in Phoenix, Arizona, specifically TPC Scottsdale. What's this opening hole like? Well, thankfully, it's a little benign compared to the craziness around the golf course that ensues. Just 414 yards from the back tees. Bunker down the left-hand side, the players want to avoid. They'll be more than likely taking out a long iron fairway wood, hitting it down the right-hand side. Green tilts a little bit from right to left. A big runoff area on the left-hand side is a no-no for your second shot. But all in all, a nice, easy opening hole. It's all set up to be a beauty. Let's head out to the action. TPC Scottsdale, known for a bunch of birdies rich, and you can get right after them here at the first. A gentle opening hole, second shot, a good opportunity to get your iron play dialed in. Green is very small. Anything missing to the right and to the left will run off into a collection area. However, if your irons are dialed in early, it's a great opportunity to make an opening three. Seven feet to the cup. This one's looking good. Good start. Ooh, that looks like a pure stroke. And okay. always a good feeling to have early in the round. I'm already liking this course more. Well, Rich, that's got to feel good. Opening the first. I love the impression score. that the wind Making isn't going to be the first bad. always puts you in a good frame of mood. It'll be fun to watch the round progress. Well, this one looks to be heading down the runway. Time for the second shot here on the second hole. like they're going with the pitching wedge oh wow that and the wind sure is if that's what they're intending to do four miles Missing an hour it short did, there did that, they huh? will definitely be upset uh let's see which way are we going here left to right a little bit slightly seems like i believe yeah wow Boom. Oh, it. how good was that and that'll be a big boost with standings on the leaderboard yeah, and it's time to recap that play. They always play the replays of the chip games. Currently a couple under for the round. I forget who our rival is. I thought it was Ian Poulter, but I guess it wasn't. I forgot his name already. The third here at Scottsdale plays over 550 yards from the tips. It's a strong par five, which requires two big shots to get to the green. The first shot needs to avoid that bunker on the left-hand side to give you a chance to go for the green. But if you're laying up, it's laying it back to a number between those two bunkers that sit on the left side of this fairway, around 150 to 100 yards out. Uh. Let's just try this one. Okay. Going with a three wood here. Oh, wow. Look at that. Wow. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Always like the aggressive play going forward in two and get rewarded for it. Oh, you set yourself up with an eagle opportunity. Boom. And there it is. Currently at minus four for the round. The par 3 fourth at TPC Scottsdale plays 183 yards. Fairly straightaway hole, but bunkers again, front, left and short right, requires a pretty accurate and solid strike. 
opting for the five iron. Yeah, nicely played. He's already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. Oh, cool. yeah. I gave that him, should secure the par. Well done. I gave the uh, slope too much respect that time. Now, as five I strikes to behind. The fifth hole at TPC Scottsdale is a strong par four, playing 470 yards from the back tees. There's a big bunker down the right-hand side that will catch any drive not hit with authority. The approach must be accurate with the bunker on the left-hand side. Anything just slightly missed here will be punished. You can tell this is a real course because they're actually describing stuff about it, which they normally do not do that much. Game with the 9-iron, nine -nine, I think. Also, we're in Phoenix, Arizona, so it's probably like 100 degrees right now. Well, wonderful shot and a chance for Birdie at the fifth. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. Well, well holds. He'll take the birdie. And with that, he'll move to five under par. Catch up. Solid play finds that player moving up the leaderboard after that hole. The sixth hole at TPC Scottsdale is a solid mid-range par four, 432 off the back tees. And again, it's more position off the tee that's required here with the bunkers on the left-hand side. A bold player is to fly it over that bunker on the left and leave just a short wedge in. Bold players will get off this hole, but a safe strategy lays back before them. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. Made birdie on the last, looking for a second in a row here. And that's their fourth birdie of the day. And that will move him to six under par. He's in a share of 12th place. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. The seventh here at Scottsdale is a par three measuring 215 yards from the back tees. A straightaway hole, but bunkers left and right of this green ensure that a nice straight shot is required. Opting for the three wood. Ah, oh, did I overshoot it? I think I did. I definitely did. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. And it goes in. Nice. Great shot. And a chip in, Luke, just what the doctor ordered. And we're going to have to watch a replay, yeah, aren't we? Taking another look at that one. Uh -huh. He's currently sharing eighth position. Catching up. Slowly, but we are catching up. The eighth hole at TPC Scottsdale is a very strong par four, playing over 475 yards from the back tee. There's a couple of pot bunkers down the left-hand side that need to be avoided Oops. so you can get to the green in two. If you're going hard here, there's a tree on the right-hand side that can prevent a good second shot or a line to the green. Two well-struck shots required to get to this green, and even then, your par's not secure. From around 170 yards here, currently four shots off the pace. Ooh, they hit that way too hard. Well, maybe not. Nope, never mind. A great shot here at the eighth, and a chance for birdie. I miss Rivet. And sure. this putt is to move into the top five. And that putt will give them birdie number six on the day. And that will take him to eight under. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. The finishing hole on the front nine at TPC Scottsdale was a par four, measuring 453 yards from the back tee. There's plenty of room off the tee to the left, just so you can avoid that bunker on the right. There's a bunker short of the green here that needs to be avoided, a short little pot bunker. But two solid shots here will allow a chance for a birdie. Playing from around 150 yards here, only a few shots off the pace. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. You know what? That deserves a golf clap. <laughs> putting for birdie. This is a good chance. Oh, what a round this is. 
Seven birdies today. Just two shots back after that hole. It's, again, we're in Phoenix. It's probably like a hundred. The 10th of TPC degrees. Scottsdale is a short par four, measuring just 428 yards from the tips. There's a huge bunker down the right side of this fairway. God, this course has so many long par fours. A lot of these would be What you want to do is set up for good angle of approach, though. There's a couple of pot bunkers to the short right of this green and a big one to the front left to be avoided. How much did the win last week give them the confidence to perhaps pull it off again here and go back to back? Massive win last week, looking to double up again this week. I've got to say, they're building off all the good things they did last week. A win could definitely happen. Well, what a nice. performance. Eight birdies on the card. Catching up, catching up, catching Sitting up. at 10 under par for the day. I tell you what, inching closer to that top spot on the leaderboard, things are definitely heating up. Another par four. Yeah, like everything's is a par, par four, four playing course. 472 yards and a huge water hazard down the left-hand side. The best line is a drive as close to that water without taking it on. Anything that leaves about 150 to 170 yards in will give you a chance to set up birdie. Going with the six iron here. I'll take it. A nice approach shot there. Oof. In high, well, inside maybe, uh, the range. Wish I would have been better. Hang on, this nope. looks pretty yeah. handy. Fair effort, that. Good birdie. And this player's moving up on the leaderboard after that hole. Brandon Hagee. The 12th at TPC Scottsdale is a par three, measuring 192 yards off the back tees. Not much to this hole except the bunkers left to be avoided. Although water can sneak in on the right up near the green if anything is slightly pushed. Probably not going to make it on this one. Uh, oh, that's a high caliber shot. 14 feet to the cup. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. Point and kiss. And that will drop in for birdie. Really by a stroke after that hole. This game is really. I don't know how much. I don't. I don't know how much. Like after I do this, I don't know what else there will the be. The thirteenth is one of the good scoring holes in the closing nine at TPC Scottsdale. It's par five. par five, measuring five hundred and fifty-eight yards. Job one is to avoid that huge water hazard to the right, or the tree on the left-hand side that juts out into the fairway. If you're clear, you'll have a chance to knock it up near towards the green or just laying it back to a comfortable yardage of around 100, 125 yards. A chance for Birdie here to really ignite your charge. Seems to have chosen the three. Uh, I think I hit that way too hard. <laughs> Me thinks it's going to go way past the hole. Or not. Come on. Well struck. This putt is for the lead. Tracking. Eagle. Got it. Oh, super putt that. What an eagle. Oh, how handy is that? Move him into top spot. Now, two shots up after that one. The nice. play so far has been stellar, increasing the lead, Luke. But can they maintain it? Let's find out. Can they maintain it? <laughs> I'm an ass. What was that noise? Did you hear that? It's like a... Like a Not bad. Whatever. Second shot here on the 14th. Um... Let's drop it about there. Going with the five iron here. Yeah, I think five iron should just it should hit the ground and just stop basically. A wonderful shot into 14. It sets up another look at Birdie. Look at him just surging ahead at the top of the leaderboard. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. The 15th is a very important hole, the par 5, 553 yards from the back tees. Either makes or breaks around here at TPC Scottsdale. That huge penalty area to the left is to be avoided if you're to make a decent score. A good drive will allow you to go for this island green in two. Although if you're too far back, no point taking it on as there's water everywhere to collect your ball. Laying up to the 115, 20 yard marker will give you just an easy wedge here and a chance to still make your birdie. <gasps> oh, so this is beautiful to watch. So agonizing and close. This player has been in fuego with his approach shots. Another green in regulation. So agonizing. Putting close. for eagle here. Dude. Yeah, we'll take that. A nice feeling it must be to have that sizable of a lead coming down the stretch.
I think the current leader enjoys a five shot advantage. Three holes remaining, Luke. This is getting awfully fun. Uh, yeah, sure. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Oh, that crowd noise. But that one will get him on their feet. Well, you're going to be hard to catch now if you keep making putts like that. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Let's find out. This is a par four? Really? Um, I can almost make this. One hundred one percent is what I needed. Looks like this one's hitting safely for the fairway. Yeah, it did make the. Oh, I love that aggressive play. Oh, how about that shot? Taking out the big stick and going ahead and knocking her on. Love it. How about this for a putt? Oh, this looks pure. <laughs> it was on a good line. Oh, good look at a birdie here. Oh, that's agonizing. And with that putt hold, it's back-to-back -back birdies. That's agonizing. I like it. Two in a row. That would have been the longest Leading putt by I've six ever strokes made. after that one. Yeah, we got this one. In the, bag. the finishing hole at TPC Scottsdale requires a great drive. The big water has it down the left-hand side, and the church pew bunkers make it a very difficult drive. Church pew Anything bunkers? out to those bunkers on the right will leave a good angle approach. But once you hit this shot, make sure you get the right area on the green if you're to make your birdie. Well, with a pocket full of FedEx Cup points over the last half a dozen starts or so, this player certainly has been delivering consistent results and pushing for wins or winning, Rich. Do you expect that to continue here this week? Luke, absolutely. Week in and week out, this player has consistently performed at the highest level. i got to believe he's a lot of people's favorites to win this tournament. Well, that's a great tournament to win. The waste management fit its open, Rich, and all on Super Destroyed Bowl Destroyed them. All the fans this week have been out there supportive of the tournament. They've been out here in record numbers. And the champion, well, they finally get to enjoy the festivities as well. Great play in this week. Great win. And Rich, I think you mentioned earlier that this player was your favorite. Well picked. Oh, listen, I, it's not a hard pick, is it? This player has consistently been there all season long. There's no reason why not to pick them to win. They just make me look smart. That's about it. <laughs> well, on behalf of myself, Luke Elby and Rich Bean, thanks for tuning in. Catch you tomorrow. 500 more points. Good Lord. So, as far as this difficulty, we have it on easiest. That was supposed to change the greens speed, I think, and the, uh, the wind, but I don't think it affects the wind. Terrain firmness and green speeds is likelihood of encountering strong winds. Put that on easy, go with it. But look, we still have this. Like, if I put this on very hard, it's 90. I do like... I like, I, I like having this one up all the way, though. Um, yeah. Just because that means the same AI won't be in second place or third place every time. It makes it, makes it we get to see more different AI. Yeah. We'll do that. There. We'll bump up that difficulty just a little bit. All right, we are now ready for the Genesis Invitational at the Riviera Country Club. That sounds real, so it might be. But that'll be in the next episode. Thanks for watching.